Okay, so I'm going to make a, a very quick video of uh, how you go about washing uh, a dirty vinyl record. And uh, I'm just going to quickly take you through the steps. So what I've got here is uh, a record that I picked up um, at an antique sale yesterday. It's in pretty good condition, but it's uh, it's got quite a lot of uh, dust and grime on it from over the years. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to wash it. Now I'm going to wash it in this sink. So what I've done, first of all, I've just taken a little bit of uh, washing uh, liquid and I've cleaned out the sink itself and given it a good rinse. Um, just um, if you've got one of these uh, spray attachments then it makes life a little bit easier because you obviously want to get the, uh, the sink very clean before you start uh, doing anything. And then I'm going to put um, a little bit of lukewarm water. You really don't want this uh, anything more than lukewarm because you don't want to uh, heat the record. And just put a little bit of that in there. And what you're also going to need while that's filling, you're going to need uh, some kind of a brush. I use an old, uh, this is an old kind of record cleaning brush. Um, but you could use any fine, clean, not greasy, very soft uh, fiber or, or even a little piece of um, uh, like velvet or something would do, like a, this is just a velvet kind of pad. And that the water's, just check the temperature, the water's filling quite nicely. And what I'm going to do now is just put a little bit of, a little bit of washing up liquid, just a few drops on the pad. So we've got some washing liquid in there. Just going to let that get nice and wet. Turn this off. Now I'm going to have to put the camera on a stand for the rest of this because I need both hands here. So let me move this up and just tilt it down so you can see what I'm doing. There's the sink with the water in. So now I'm not going to be um, uh, too worried about, you can see the dirt on this, but I'm not going to worry too much about getting the labels wet, but as you'll see, I don't want to leave these wet because if you if you let the label get water standing on it for any length of time, it will very quickly start to bubble. So uh, just put the uh, record in the water, make sure there's nothing sharp there, and then start cleaning. Try not to rub the label too much. It doesn't matter if you go across it just to wipe some dust off, but really what you're trying to do is to is to give the grooves a good clean. You can see there's a little bit of suds building up there. Turn that over. Do the other side. Keep it nice and wet so you don't scratch it. This is really important that you don't have any grit or anything. You don't want to make the record worse than you started. Give that a good clean. Just be careful not to break the record, but they're, they're pretty strong generally if you don't handle them roughly. Okay, what I'm going to do is give that a quick rinse in this lukewarm water just to get the rough off. Now, we're very lucky here that we've got reverse osmosis system which gives me very, very soft, pure water straight from this little faucet here. So I'm just going to turn this on. Let me just move this up a little bit. So you can see what I'm doing. Now I'm just going to rinse off the soapy water that I got on there. My hands, I've washed my hands so my hands aren't greasy. They're, and straight in this water. Give that a good wash. If necessary, if you want to go over a little bit more, you can put a little bit more of that on just to get any stubborn dirt off. That's really as wet as I would ever want to get the label, so I think that's probably had enough now. Okay, turn that water off, spin this around. And what I've got here is a clean towel, and I'm just going to uh, quickly dab off, just gently, the label. The label's the, cri the critical thing because, as I say, if you leave that water on there, it's going to really damage it. Don't rub the label at this stage, just dab off the water because you don't want to damage the label. You'll if it's a valuable record, you'll devalue it by damaging the label. Label condition is important. Okay, when you've got the label pretty much dry of any of the liquid on it, you can be a little bit more direct at just wiping out the grooves. 
You're not rubbing too hard, you're really letting the towel do the work here. Okay, just getting the most of the water off that, that's all we're aiming at doing. Turning that over. You could turn to a, you could use a dry piece of towel, you could turn into a dry piece of towel. This is an old one I always use for cleaning the records. It got some uh, iodine on it from one of the dogs, treating one of the dogs one time, so it gets used as a, a utility towel now. And what you've got now is a is a nice clean shiny record and what I would do now um, I have a, a vacuum uh, drying system and, and cleaning system but actually for this uh, if you didn't have a cleaning system all you need to do is to leave that somewhere where it's going to thoroughly dry and if you've got a, a, a clean plate rack drying rack just very carefully you can just leave the record on it like that leave it maybe uh, in a warm room like this, it's maybe 20 minutes or so, 15-20 minutes and it's going to be dry and um, it's going to be usable. Never play a wet record. If the record's still wet you will damage the grooves. The temperature at the tip boils the water, gets it to a very high temperature and starts steaming off. You won't see the steam but the heat actually damages the groove permanently. So never play a wet record. And um, that's it. That's all there is to it.